Good morning, everybody. When we think of the 1950s, we often think of the great prosperity of the 1950s. The Great Depression was finished, World War II was finished, and prosperity came to America in the 1950s. And it was on this date in 1957 that the Frisbee made its appearance. And that was one of many cool things to play with uh, during that time period. My theme today is about cool things to buy. And in the 1950s, if you wanted to buy a GM car, you started with the red Chevy, made your way through Pontiac, Oldsmobile, Buick, and ended up with a Cadillac. And this was on purpose, uh, kind of a hierarchy of cars to show how much you've uh, gone up in the world. Walt Disney was known as a filmmaker. He had created Mickey Mouse in the 20s, other movies like Pinocchio and Bambi. And uh, by the time the 1950s show up, he realizes the importance of the car. So here he is talking about Disneyland, which he puts out in the farmland of Anaheim, California. And here's the picture of Disneyland. But it's assuming you have a car. And that's one of the big themes of the 1950s. In New York City, there was a group of diners who got together, cooperated with certain restaurants, and they had a club called the Diners Club. You didn't need cash. You just had your little card here. And this is the origin of the credit card, which we all use today. But it started as a dining thing in New York. McDonald's began as a, nothing special. They had burgers and fries. They had a um, barbecue pit too. But we know them as one of the symbols of the consumer culture on wheels, and it became the biggest restaurant chain in the world. Now, the hula hoop was a, a cool toy. Its origins go deep in Native American ceremonies, the hoop dance, but it was marketed in the 50s as an exercise hoop. 25 million were sold in four months. Before World War II, people used kutal to clean their wallpaper because the coal they were burning led to residue and it just needed cleaning. Well, when World War II was finished, people didn't burn with coal as much and Kutal was looking for something to do with their product and teachers reported they used it as modeling clay so they just changed the name to Play-Doh. It's basically the same thing. Now if you wanted a car toy you could get a matchbox car. These were die cast, really rugged, but they get their name because they would fit into a box of wood matches and maybe some of you have a matchbox toy in your drawer somewhere. Gumby got his start when Art Clokey, who was a film student at USC, was working on animated films and he needed a creature or something that would stay on its legs while he moved his camera around and that's why Gumby has such big feet. The pogo stick comes from two Germans whose names have letters P-O and G-O in them. They called it a spring-end hopping stilt, but in the 50s it got a new handle, which made it a little cooler, and it was called the pogo stick. Now, our story is about the Frisbee. There was a bakery in Connecticut, the Frisbee Pie Company, and college students used the empty pie plates as something to throw around on campus when they had a break, and somebody noticed that, took the idea, said, why don't I make a plastic disc that I can throw, here it is, and if you can see, it's called the Pluto platter. But what makes the Frisbee really interesting is that it has a curved top. And this is a uh, classic design airplane, people know it. It creates an airfoil. Because of the curve, the air traveling over the top goes faster than the air traveling underneath, and that creates lift. That's how airplanes fly, and that's how the Frisbee stays in the air. But the Barbie doll, probably the most iconic toy of the 1950s, Ruth Handler had two kids, Barbara and Ken. She was in Germany with them once and noticed an adult-bodied doll. I think that was the phrase they used. She had the idea, brought it to Mattel, and eventually Barbie came into existence. So the 1950s are a cool decade to study. A lot of neat consumer things to buy. Uh, you could sort of tell people were happy the war was over, the depression was over, and they were going to 
have some fun and spend some money and uh, just enjoy themselves.